March the 10th. At long last, we have finally entered Imperial territory. The ferocity of the Federation counterattack caught the Empire off guard. Battle by battle, town by town, we're pushing back the front, with no signs of slowing down. The road to Schwarzgrad is a long one, running at least 1,500 kilometers from friendly territory into the heart of the Empire. But at the end of it lies our target, the capital city. We have a long trek ahead of us, but for now, morale is high. Everyone here believes in this operation. Everyone is praying it'll succeed. <laughs> I guess the Empire's not so tough after all, huh, Commander? Give them one good stomping, and all of a sudden they're running off home. Huh? So are you gonna take a picture of everything we pass? Here, let me have a look at it. Uh, hey, Raz, come on! <laughs> Stop it! Really? You're wasting my film! Wasting? What we got here is a picture of a future hero. Ugh. You take one too, eh, Kai? Yeah, maybe. Uh -huh. There you go. That's a keeper. Uh, damn it, Miles! The hell was that for? Freaking hurt, Quiet. man! I told him to stop the tank. Huh? Everything okay? The wind shifted. They brought out the big guns. A blast that big could wipe out a whole squad. Easy. Let's keep moving. A rendezvous point with Squad F should be nearby. <gasps> Flash. Thunder. That's the password. Next time? Give us the response before you scare us shitless. Apologies. I didn't mean to frighten you. Follow me. Lieutenant Victor is waiting. Who? Oh, you mean Minerva. And you are... Corporal Crystal Ward, from Squad F. Indeed. I have the honor of answering to Minerva Victor, the strongest and smartest officer in the army. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> I assume you saw that explosion. Oh, we saw it all right. They must be packing serious heat. A 21 centimeter howitzer. Currently, our worst nightmare. It must have a range of at least 10 kilometers. We can't advance with that thing around. Just so. Our mission is to capture that cannon. Commander! Good work leading Squad E so far, Claude. Your slow pace, however, does leave something to be desired. We saw cannon fire, so we've been proceeding with caution. Keep your excuses, as I said before. The success of Operation Northern Cross hinges on our swift advance. Time is of the essence. I know. You try hustling with a huge cannon up your ass. Oh, wait! You already tried and failed. Down, boy. Claude, have you not housebroken your squad? The hell did you say? I'd appreciate it if you didn't insult my soldiers. They're people, not pets. Then I expect them to act like it. I'm not the one wagging my tongue. Soldiers who step out of line are often the first to die. Remember that, Sergeant Raz. Yeah, yeah. Hope you make it out alive too, Lieutenant. <sighs> um, Commander? Uh, there's a good view from the clearing. Maybe we could brief them there.
Claude, come with me. Allow me to explain your next mission. As you know, Fort Crest has a 21 centimeter howitzer that's blocking our advance. It might just look like an old castle turned into a makeshift fort, but they've stationed quite a few troops to defend the cannon. If we get too close, those turrets on the walls will mow us down. So when does our own cannon get here? That howitzer already destroyed it. We were outranged. Blown up already? How long will the replacement take? The bridge was destroyed too, so the artillery tractor can't proceed. It will take at least seven days. Though we do have plenty of infantry en route. Doesn't matter how many foot soldiers we get. Without a cannon, we're just waiting around. Not necessarily. Huh? Time is of the essence. We don't have a week to wait. You're as sharp as ever. Like he says, we can't afford to wait. We'll have to capture the fort without artillery. That's too reckless. Those turrets would fill us with more holes than golly and cheese. It's a dangerous mission, I know. But those are your orders. This isn't your local militia. This is what you signed up for when you joined the Edinburgh Army. You're right. We enlisted to crush the Empire. Not to commit suicide. Then allow me to clue you in on something. Crystal, tell them the news. Yes, ma'am. This morning, the Empire invaded Gallia. They've... invaded? I knew it was only a matter of time. What about our hometown? Is Hoffen okay? All we know is that the battle broke out near the border, at Citadel Girlandio. The Imperial Army, however, is being led by Prince Maximilian himself. Gallia's prospects look grim. Oh, damn it! Is there nothing we can do? If Operation Northern Cross goes as planned, the Empire won't have the luxury of staying on the offensive. Our only option is to complete the mission as soon as possible. Guess we've got no choice then. If our home's in the Empire's sights, then we've gotta protect it! Yeah, let's do it for Gallia. <laughs>